What is up beautiful people? Welcome back to a brand new video and before I actually start the video off today I would like to wish all of you an awesome new year and if you're new to this series that I'm doing This is going to be day five of me preparing on Hydra release uh, So basically a couple of things that I want to do is get 95 slayer that is to be able to kill a chemical hydras and then uh, Finish all of the quests and finish all of the diaries. I want to do all of that before 10th of January that is where the servers get released. No, not the servers. That is where the, 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 the new update gets released. And I also have to still qualify another account in the Deadman Mode tournament. So that, that is a couple of things that I will be doing in the following days. Um, but as you can see, we start the video off on 93 Slayer, about 400k experience away till 94 and the plan for this video alone is to get 94 slayer potentially even a little bit over that so also the plan is not to skip most of the tasks i also want to pile up some points and my goal is to be at around 3000 points before the alchemical hydra release so uh you're gonna see me a b you're gonna see me do tasks such as call fights blood velds Stuff that is not necessarily the best quite often because obviously I'm saving up those points. Um, also, another thing, a lot of people might be interested about certain things, about Alchemical Hydra, about Cabal Slowlands. Uh, I will be doing a separate video potentially tomorrow, so if you have any questions about that, and if I have the answers to them, I'm gonna make a separate video describing everything, uh, but... Most importantly, I will be focusing on uh, everything you need to have to complete all of the diaries. Uh, because diaries were announced today on stream and I actually have all the requirements to complete to complete all of them, but they're gonna be much longer than all the other tasks. So I'm gonna try to compile a lot of information about Cabal Slowlands and uh, make it into a video format for tomorrow, I think. Um, but uh, yeah, if you have any questions about that and if I have an answer, uh, please leave it in the comments and I'll try to find an answer to it. All right, so focusing on the video now, uh, we're currently 241 tasks in. We have a lot of points, over a thousand already, so 250 tasks in a row will give me a lot of points. That is basically the goal for now. Um, and here we can see the Jad as well. So basically my goal with the Jads is to get 28 fire capes, but and then gamble them all. But at the same time, I kind of don't want to gamble them all because I feel like I will eventually, right, get the pet anyways. So why gamble those capes? So I might actually change my mind when it comes to that and actually start stacking them up. Um, but yeah, we'll see how that goes. Also, another thing, when I get the next Cal fight task, I actually will um, start doing Calfight Queen. For now, I was just cannoning Calfights, but in the future, I'll start doing Calfight Queen. Obviously, I do want to get that head drop before the 10th of January so I can complete um, Alcarid Elite Diaries. And if you're wondering why I want to complete the Diaries before the Cabo's Lowland release, it is actually very simple. I want to have somewhat complete account, somewhat ready account right now. It's just a big mess, like I need the Draymond staff to still teleport around, my house is not organized even when I have 99 construction. There is so many small things that I need to improve on the account, but since since I was like leaving the account behind my Iron Man, I never really fully focused on those things. But now I have a nice amount of time, like 10 more days basically, to fully prepare and fully organize my account and that is what I'm doing right now. If you're wondering what I'm doing on my Iron Man at the same time, I'm currently working on 99 mining and 99 room crafting. So I cannot really do a lot of content when it comes to that. But when the Cabal's Lowlands releases, I might do some stuff uh, on that. I'm not exactly sure when it comes to that, but we're gonna see how it goes. But for now, I'm basically nearly 91 room crafting, and I am um, doing it while I post commentate this video. Also, if you're wondering why the fuck I'm post commentating still, so basically, over the holidays, it is like a family tradition. I always go home, and I always spend time with my family and my sisters, uh, but I often do find some time to record gameplay as well. Now, unfortunately, since I'm living with people, I do not want to annoy them and I don't really have time to voice commentate live right there. So what I usually do is I just record a bunch of things and then save them and then uh, I just uh, post commentate um, basically over the clips when I get to my own place. So that's what we're doing out here. Uh, and I've become really, really bad doing this over the years. I used to be really good at this. I used to do this literally all the time. I would wait for my parents to like leave home or whatever. And then I would start recording and I would record like three, four videos at the same time. 
Uh, however, now I'm, I don't know what the fuck to talk about and we're five minutes through. Uh, but either way, you know, we're just gonna focus on what's in the background and uh, what I'm skipping and what I'm doing. So my favorite tasks actually at the moment are gargoyles and like kraken, I think. And a lot of people are like, you shouldn't be doing those tasks, but I'm not the most efficient person when it comes to that. And I just do those tasks because I simply enjoy doing them. They're nice money. They're pretty AFK. I can do a lot of other things on the side. And that for me is just a perfect task. That's why I enjoy Slayer. So I can be AFK and do other things at the same time. That's just RuneScape for you or RuneScape for me rather. I like to do a lot of other things while playing it. And if the other things mean that I'm playing more RuneScape accounts, that's still considered more other things. Even though usually what I will end up doing is I will either uh, play RuneScape while I would edit stuff, play RuneScape while I would watch movies, whatever it is, I always have RuneScape on the side of my screen playing. But here we have the big 94 Slayer accomplished and I pushed quite hard after that as well. I didn't stop there, I'm nearly 95 as I'm making this video so I'll definitely make it uh, but I might stop here and then focus on all those diaries that I was talking about and focus on those um, quests that I was talking about. I don't have many to do but I just have those super annoying ones. We're talking Morning End Part 2, Morning End Part 1, Bone and Ragman, Bone and Ragman 2 and then a bunch of those Zia quests, and I'm also gonna have to get 100 uh, Zia favor in all of the houses, so not looking forward to that one, to be completely honest. Then a couple of more things I still have to do is actually get two more thieving levels, so from 86 to 88 thieving, probably not gonna record that, because it's not necessarily interesting. And I'm also going to have to get... Uh, one smithing level, which should be fairly simple, from 89, 89 to 90, or if there is a plus two smithing boost, I might find that, but usually just getting that one level and then using the Dwarven Stout from Falador, uh, I will be needing that for, I think, Wilderness uh, Diaries, and then after that, I my account is just about, I have everything that I need, I think, um, and I am basically fully prepared for the Cabos Lowlands release. Obviously after I finish those things. Now here on the screen you may be wondering what the fuck are you doing in Mage Training Arena? Uh, unfortunately I have to get bones to peaches and the only way to do that is to get points in the Magic Training Arena. So you see me get the 20,000 Pizzaias points there. Here we have 200 freaking telekinetic shit. And uh, basically you need to get uh, all of those points and then unlock bones to peaches. So I will need that for Lumbridge Elite Diaries. However, I still have to complete all the quests in order to do that first. Um, but it was a very, very chill thing to do. Uh, didn't take me too long. I mean, it took, takes you like 3-4 hours, I think. But I usually just knock it out fairly easily. I do this just about every Deadman Mode tournament. Uh, last time, Divine, a friend of mine, actually did it for me. But in the past, I would get the boots done myself. Uh, so I don't mind this place at all. It is fairly simple to do. Uh, pretty AFK once you know what you're doing, like I could easily watch YouTube shows at the same time or movies or whatever uh, But here we go, we're trading this reward guardian or whatever this guy's name is And we get ourselves the bones to peaches and with that the probably one of the most annoying things is done And after this live commentary all right, uh, we are now in Deadman mode. So this is Iron Mika. Uh, I, this is the account I have been playing most of this Deadman mode, and the account I made most of the money on. So I'll be able to f to like found other accounts. Uh, also, I got massive help from De Bosser recently. He's been hooking me up with items. Simply because I uh, just want to PK a little bit. I'm getting 94 magic right now for Barrage. And then I'll just PK a little bit for fun. No promises for any videos. But maybe, maybe if I get some cool kills, I might do a video about it. Uh, but I've been doing this on the side. And then when I cap, I just log off and I play a regular Iron Man. Because um, I only enjoy PKing once I have Barrage, to be completely honest. And since I have to wait literally two weeks to get that, nearly three weeks... I'll get to enjoy the season when there is, uh, how many people left? 70. So, not the ideal situation right there, but what can you do about it? Either way, um, that is going to be it for the video today. I just had a couple of people asking about Deadman Mode, and here it is. Uh, this is what I'm up to on Deadman Mode, basically. Um, uh, but yeah, I'm gonna be finishing the video here. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. 
Uh, here he is, five mil cash in hand. Can just buy anything. This man, like, he's been hooking me up. I should be picking a little bit, maybe on stream soon. Uh, but as I was saying, uh, hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. I'll be talking with you guys tomorrow with some more Kebos Lowland stuff. I think I'm, I, I might skip on that. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, but I might do a nice little cool video about that, especially if I find some useful information that I can share with you guys. But with that being said, I really do hope you guys did enjoy. I really do hope you guys had an awesome new year. I have some amazing things planned for this year. And before I actually conclude the video, I'd like to thank all of you guys for literally helping me reach this goal. I'd like to thank Jagex, even though probably nobody from them is gonna hear this, but they invited me over to PvP All-Stars Championship, which was literally, like, the most awesome experience for me, um, and uh, I'm very grateful for that as well. And it would, it would be impossible if it wasn't for you guys and the community we gathered throughout these years. So thank you very much for that. I'll be seeing you guys very soon, and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.